Welcome to the Tlemani Huberti Archive. This archive is rich in heritage materials about the Tlemani people and spans over a hundred years. We hope you enjoy learning more about South Africa's history from this unique perspective as you engage with these rare resources. Now, how to access and search for photographs. We will walk you step by step through the Tlemani Huberti Archive and show you how to access and search over 1,000 photographs in the archive. Step 1. Visit the following home page, ibali.uct.ac.za forward slash s forward slash bvf41 forward slash. You will notice that this archive is hosted by the University of Cape Town Libraries on the platform called ibali. Step 2. Scroll down on the home page to the section labeled Media and click on the Photographs option. Step 3. On the Photos page, you can freely search the photographs displayed or specifically do a search according to three main headings. These are Person, Place or Keyword. Let's try an example of each. To search for a specific person identified in the archive, click in the box next to the name you are looking for and then all the photographs that include that person will be shown in your search results. You can also search for the person's name on the person's list. There are 291 to choose from. For example, the name Pietrus Falboy. You will see that when you select this name, there are a total of 37 photographs in the archive that include Pietrus Falboy. You can then search any of these photographs to make the image bigger and get more information about the selected photograph. Let's take a look at a photograph of David Kraper, Tabu Mbeki and Pietrus Falboy. You can now make this selected image larger and access detailed information about your selected image. Please note that all images in this archive are protected under the Creative Commons non-commercial license and the copyright information is also explicitly provided with each image. Now, let's search for photographs taken at a specific place. Click in the box next to the place name you are looking for, or search for the name on the places list. There are 73 to choose from. For example, the place Kakakama. You will see that when you select this place name, there are a total of 66 photographs in the archive that were taken at Kakakama. Just like the photographs of Pietrus Falboy, you can search any of these photographs taken at Kakakama to make the image bigger and get more information about the photograph. Let's have a look at an example called Keeping Warm in Kakakama. Lastly, let's search for photographs that relate to a specific keyword. Click in the box next to the keyword you are looking for or search for the word on the keywords list. There are 162 to choose from. For example, the keyword traditional clothing. You will see that when you select this keyword, that there are a total of 68 photographs in the archive that include people wearing traditional clothing. Again, you can search any of these photographs taken of people wearing traditional clothing to make the image bigger and get more information about the photograph. Let's take a look at an older photograph taken in 1936 of Abraham Kurube Witboy in traditional dress. Step 4. To search the archive for people, places or keywords, one can also go to the top tab Explore when searching for items under the same categories. These results will be presented in alphabetical order. Step 5. Click on the About tab on the top menu bar to find out about the archive in general. Information on copyright, ethics and community, census of content, and contact details for UCT libraries are also on this page. Step 6. To learn more about the team of people who worked on this collection, please go to About and then click on Team. This team includes local community members, researchers, archivists and librarians who have all worked together to create the FAIR principles for scientific data management and stewardship. Step 7. 
To find out more about the organizations involved in the development of this resource, as a funder, a consultant, or a supporting organization, click on About and then Organizations. It's important to note that this archive is supported by UNESCO under the work encouraged by the International Decade of Indigenous Languages, or IDL. The South African Sand Council also fully supports the development of this archive. Step 8. To learn even more about the Tomani people, go to About and then click on Links. These links include related organisations, language resources, free instructional videos and additional archive resources. Step 9. The digitisation and development of metadata through community engagement of the photographs in this archive was specifically funded by the South African Centre for Digital Language Services, also known as SADILAR, a national centre supported by the Department of Science and Innovation through the consultancy African Tongue, as directed by Dr Kerry Jones. And finally, step 10. Happy researching! We hope you found this film clip to be helpful in your research journey. If you have any further questions, please contact UCT Libraries at lib-spcoll at uct.ac.za.